that's the flaw. And that's what Murray Rothbard told me a, a number of times. He said the one flaw, and he said he realized that he's got it. He, he told me, in fact, he did modify a lot of his, his material, but before his death. And he said the one flaw of libertarianism is that it allows these elites to totally control society and create a tyranny where there is no true individual volition and there's no interest in the interest of the majority of the American people. This is a true story. You can look back, look in the records. This guy said really great things about me. He literally supported me. And he's the father of modern day right libertarianism. He himself told me personally that libertarianism has some big flaws in it. And the problem is that when you let this, uh, this wealth be accumulated, and aggrandized, you know, you have the ability to have an evil uh, situation where massive millions of people are denied their basic human rights. And that's really what I think is going on in this country. We're in this position. That we're in this position of destruction of the West because we've allowed these corporate entities to have such unbridled power. They've even affected the government. And that's what these corporations will do naturally. It's not something like, oh, yeah, we're going to all these libertarians come up with these ideas. Oh, we're going to make these things where there's going to be fair competition and you can have protected and all that. It's baloney because when people have the money, they're going to do things so they can make more money and get more power. And that's the problem I see with libertarianism, because Libertarianism doesn't understand first a couple of things. For one thing, it says that the individual is everything. And the truth is the individual is absolutely essential that the individual goes as far as his ability warrant and has a fair playing field. But government has a role because government must make sure that we have a fair playing field because any major corporation unbridled can destroy all the competition, whether it's government helping them or not. I'll give you one more example. You talked a while. One more example, then I'll give it back to you. In Louisiana, Huey Long was one of our, uh, was a governor of Louisiana and a senator. And he was a populist senator. And we had a problem in Louisiana is that we had a company called Standard Oil. Now, I hope that a lot of your listeners understand Standard Oil and the corruption of the Rockefeller uh, Standard Oil Corporation. It was a robber baron corporation. That, that completely eliminated true competition, true freedom, and true private property because they destroyed corporations. In Louisiana, Standard Oil controlled everything. They controlled the politics. They corrupted the political system. They controlled the competition. If a young, small oil company uh, came in, into being that had very good uh, research and exploration abilities and scientific abilities, good corporate strategy, uh, you know, they, and they began their old company and they started to sell gasoline and start to, to make some filling stations and some gas stations to compete with Standard Oil. What did Standard Oil do? Well, they just moved in and they lowered the price of gas in the competing stations in Louisiana to under what it cost Standard Oil to even make the gas. There's no way the small company. And then when they bankrupted the corporation, then they came back in, right? And they raised the price to whatever they wanted so they could fleece the people all they wanted. That's the problem. The, the, the idea of libertarianism might be an ideological idea that sounds good. It's kind of like those who say communism sounds good. You know, it's a great idea. It's just it's never been practiced right. I say that when an idea doesn't really work, uh, that the ideologically it's wrong as well. And I believe that the foundation of libertarianism is the idea that it doesn't matter uh, you know, in fact, it's good to have people just accumulate un ungodly wealth that it doesn't matter that that happens. I think that idea is an idea that leads to government itself. And that's the flaw. Libertarianism ends up making bigger governments and libertarianism, right. uh, the idea that people, corporate people and with great power. Uh, can do with what they want to with their money without regulation, without uh, any sort of. Uh, hindering. That's what creates big government because it's natural for a big corporation to realize that if they can control the government, they can also restrict the competition and they can control everything. And I, you know, I'd rather have, a, if it's going to be that, I'd rather have a government that I have some sort of say in and protections, for instance, of not allowing big money in elections, letting people choose all candidates by ideas. That's what we should do in this country. We don't have a democracy in this country. We don't have a representative government. We got an oligarchy in this country where people can give any amount of money they want to uh, to a candidate. 
and and these corporate elites and these and these egalitarian not egalitarian they are they're pro egalitarian you know why because they know that the real strong middle class that's why always the small business people and the middle income people have always been populist they what they want is they want the masses of these uh, welfare recipients on one side to be their voting block to get what they want, which they feel they can control. They don't want a strong middle class. They don't want small business and middle businesses to flourish because they want to control it all. And that's exactly what they're doing. And they're suppressing freedom of speech and they're driving us to destruction in this world. That's the problem or some of the problems I have with libertarianism. All right. We need to cut our intervention shorter because people want to listen sure. to us interacting and exchanging. You raise okay. essentially three problems. Right. The one is the, the money, the, the big powers controlling the government. And that is not a critique of libertarianism. Libertarianism stands with you there. It says there should be no government to control. And so if the state wasn't as big as it is, uh, George Soros would have no interest in trying to subvert the state. The only reason the state is interesting to someone like George Soros is that the state has powers that the free market doesn't have. It's precisely because the state can abolish private rights and can modify the outcome of the law so that certain enterprises are favored. That's the reason rich people want to subvert the government. And so the libertarian answer to this is the government will always be subject to subversion. Whether it's from rich people actually doesn't matter all that much. Whether, <laughs> whether, <laughs> it, it doesn't matter all that much. Because Can I intervene? It, a, a quick intervention on this one point here okay, for a second. Quick, right? quick, quick. You have to learn uh, to listen, go quick. Listen, listen, my good friend. Look, you're right. Rich people want to become richer and more powerful. And it is inevitable that rich people are going to want to control and influence the government. You're talking about it, the ideology that you're representing is that we need less government. But what I'm telling you is that when you have major entities of power, they seek ultimately to control the state itself. And they so they always build the state. The reason why I believe government has grown is because these huge conglomerates and these huge corporate powers, uh, both political, media, government, finance have grown. That's why we have big government, because, because the philosophy that you're saying is that, well, libertarianism is the idea we have less government. That's the flaw in libertarianism. Libertarianism always results in these big entities that will do whatever's necessary for them to get more powerful. And the way they're going to do that is by controlling and making bigger government. That's the, the flaw and the contradiction of libertarianism, in my opinion. All right. 